Hi, I'm Wes K. Kwafiki. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a trick from the Magic Nook Wizards Journal number 20. This trick is called Wizards Wallet and is done by Professor Spellbinder and Steve Dushak. Before we start, I would like to mention that we will be moving the camera around from time to time, but we will never cut it off and cut it back on. This first trick is Steve Dushak Dollar Punch. And for that, we need a dollar, which I have right here. But we have to make this dollar unlike any other dollar in the world. So to do that, I'm going to punch holes in the dollar. To do that, I need this hole punch. That should be enough. If this work, if it went all the way through, this dollar should now have holes in it. Yes. Now this dollar is unlike any other dollar that I've ever saw. But wait, we didn't have to do that. You see, each dollar has a different serial number. If we just wrote down the serial number, we would we would be able to identify the dollar. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to write down the serial number of the dollar. It's B seven two. Four, eight, zero, eight, five, N. Would you verify that for me? Uh, that says B seven two four eight zero eight five N. Now I'm gonna put the holes back into the dollar. To restore the dollar, we have to use the same hole puncher, otherwise this trick will not work. That should be enough. Now if this dollar is restored, yes it is. Let's check the serial number just to make sure it's the same dollar. Would you verify that serial number for me? It's B72480854. In. All right, now I'm going to do what I wanted to do with the dollar. And for that, I need my emergency hanky. You can either blow your nose with it, or you can use it for a trick. I'm going to use it for a trick. Now I want you to take this dollar, and I'm going to go get a magic wand. Since I don't have a magic wand, I'll use the hole punch. I'm going to... You feel a dollar in there still? I think I feel something. I'll take that. And look at the dollar. It has completely disappeared into little holes. I'll take these little holes and I'm going to sprinkle them into the wallet. Let's see if it works. Why don't you open up the wallet and see if you see the dollar? No, there's a card, there's a pad. Open up the wallet. Oh, there's something inside. If this is the same dollar, it should have the same serial number. B seven two four eight zero eight five N. And that is Steve Dushek dollar punch. We had to stop the camera for technical difficulties. I know I said we wouldn't, but we had to. But that trick is done, and now we're on to the next one. This is the Ambitious Card. There are many other tricks that you can do with this Wizard's Wallet. And now we're going to start with the Ambitious Card, and for that we need a deck of cards. Going to shuffle it up a little bit. Now I want you to pick a card, but when magicians say you to pick a card, they do like this. So that way you won't be able to see the card that you choose. But I want you to see the card that you want to choose. Ooh. It could be your favorite card or your least favorite card. I saw, I saw a good one. A good one? Yeah. 
Where's my favorite card? Oh, I thought I saw a card back here. Oh, oh there's one. I'll take there's, it. I'll take an ace. Choose right. an ace. I like the ace. Now this ace of diamond is just like any other ace of diamond. But this is the only ace of diamond in this deck. So we have to make this ace of diamond different from all the other ace of diamond. And this is how we're going to do it. He's going to sign his name on the ace of diamond. So this is why we had to stop the camera. I knocked the camera over last time. Nice and big. Thank you. Now this Ace of Diamond is unlike any other Ace of Diamond that I've ever saw. And now we're going to put your Ace of Diamond in the middle of the deck. Now watch closely. Did you see what just happened? No. Your card took the elevator from the middle of the deck to the top of the deck. Now know what you're thinking. There's no possible way that that can happen. Well here, take a look. That's, That's your Ace card. of Diamond That's with it. your name on it. I'm going to do it again. Take your card and put it in the middle of the deck. Watch very closely and you might be able to see the card take the elevator from the middle of the deck to the top of the deck. Did you see it go? No. I did. Here's your card, the Ace of Diamond. Put your name on it. Now we're going to take your card and cut it into the middle of the deck. So that way your card is neither on top or bottom. I want you to take the deck. Oh, here we go again. This is why I keep knocking over the camera. Alright, I'm supposed to look for my card. Yes, look for your card. Ace of Diamonds. Oh, there, no. That's the Ace of Clubs. That's not my card. No, there's no Ace of Diamonds there. No Ace of Diamonds? I'm going to put this back in the deck then, in, back in the box. I find that kind of weird that your Ace of Diamond just disappeared like that. It's not in the deck. I wonder where your Ace of Diamond can be. Look, there's a card in the wallet. Can that possibly be your card? No, that's been there the whole time. But why don't you take a look? Open it up. Can't be my card. It is my card. It is his card. This is the Ace of Diamond, the only Ace of Diamond in the universe with his name on it. You can keep it as a souvenir. And that is the Wizard Wallet. Like I said before, there are many other tricks you can do with the Wizard Wallet. You will find it in the ebook. MagicNook.com, Wizard's Journal number 20.